Good morning, beloveds. It was a wonderful day in the park today. Um, it was 40 degrees when we got there. I'm not sure what it is now. Uh, the, and the squirrels were out and the sunrise was beautiful and the run was good. And we saw a couple of blue jays and I got a terrible picture of a blue jay. So I have had a good morning. I also, I know when I end this thing, I like to say, uh, I like to remind you to engage your mind and your body because I was probably three quarters of the way done. So I'd already done one loop and I was on the second loop and I was back in the maintenance loop in the park and I had an inspiration. So, uh, and then, of course, <laughs> forgot until I was on my way to the parking lot to take notes because um, I kept catching squirrels in interesting pictures. So, uh, but I, I got the notes down, so I haven't lost my inspiration, really. Um, I'm hoping that y'all are having as good of a day as I am. All right. And it is January 16th. Today, our title is Good is Forever My Experience. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. And that is Luke 1531. <clears throat> Realizing that we are in the midst of an ever present good. And believing that there is a law that brings everything of its nature into our lives, we should learn to think and act as though every wrong condition of yesterday were converted into something new and better today. I believe that all the mistakes I have ever made are swallowed up in a love, in a peace, and in a life greater than I am. Therefore, I surrender all past mistakes into the keeping of this ever-present and perfect life. I affirm that love is guiding me into a real and deep cooperation with life and into a sincere affection for everyone. Today is a fresh beginning, a new start, a joyous adventure on the pathway of eternal progress. Today is bright with hope and happy with fulfillment. Therefore, I affirm that this is the day that God has made, that it is good, and that I sh find fulfillment in it. The law of mind responding to this word of good makes everything in my life simple, effective, and whole. The action of wisdom through me arranges every circumstance so that success and happiness will come from it. I express the spirit within me so that only love and confidence go out to everyone I meet, blessing everything I touch and bringing peace and comfort and joy into my world. In every thought, in every deed, in every act, I am sustained by an infinite power and guided gently into an increasing good for myself and others. So, good is forevermore my experience. The inspiration that I had um, was about why we go back to the basics in January. Um, and it's a, it was, that thought was inspired um, because I am relearning how to run uh, after my knee injury and it's good to go back to the basics to go back to the bare bones of what we learned and to edit out any bad habits that we picked up any mistakes that we've made in running uh, and build a stronger base. And I think that's one of the reasons why 
we go back every January, we go back to the basics. And we, I don't mean we as creative life, I mean the whole Centers for Spiritual Living. Um, now, do does every center do it? I don't know. Uh, a lot of them do. And our uh, home office does send out, when they send out their monthly themes, January is back to the basics. And coming back to good is forever my experience is that is that it's coming back to the bare bones, it's coming back to the basics to remind ourselves that this is what we're built on. We are built on good. We are built from good. And where we go from there is up to us. But we want to remember what our base is. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. In the reading, Ernest talks about uh, the law bringing everything within its nature. All that I have is thine, and is exactly that. That's from Luke uh, 15, 31. All that I have is thine. Everything within God's nature is ours. So happiness, joy, peace, creativity, um, good. All of that is God's nature. All of that is spirit's nature. All of that is ours. All of this other stuff that we're dealing with that we'd rather not, that's not God's nature. That's not ours. And if we let it go, it will go back into the no thing that it that it is. So realizing that we are in the midst of an ever present good, that means that it's always there. There's never a time it's not. There's never a place that it's not. Um, and believing that there is a law that brings everything of its nature, capital I, into our lives. We should learn to think and act as though every wrong condition of yesterday were converted into something new and better today. Now, every wrong condition is converted from yesterday. But that means, one, we have to let go. Um, if we're making a mistake, then we need to stop making that mistake. We need to leave it in the past. Uh, and if we need to atone for it, we need to atone for it. If we need to tell somebody that we're sorry, we need to, we need to do that. Um, and then it's converted into something new and better today, meaning we will do better today. It doesn't mean that we can keep making the same mistake over and over again. It means let your, your mistake lie in the past and do better today. I believe that all the mistakes I have ever made are swallowed up in a love, in a peace, and in a life greater than I am. I'm going to let them go. So let it go. As Elsa says, let it go. Um, any mistakes that you've made in the past, let them go. Don't keep torturing yourself over mistakes that you have made. Make your amends and move on. Because God's not going to hold it against you. Therefore, I surrender all past mistakes into the keeping of this ever-present and perfect life. I affirm that love is guiding me into a real and deep cooperation with life and into a sincere affection for everyone. And that's the capital L love. And the capital L life. Um, so I affirm that love, the perfect love, um, the subjective love is guiding me into a real and deep cooperation with life. It, because if I cooperate with life, the capital L, everything's going to go better for me. And if everything goes better for me, um, because I am cooperating with life, then I can support everything going better for the people around me. Now, my life doesn't have to be per my life doesn't have to be flawless for me to support life around me. Um, but if I am cooperating with life and I am cooperating with love, then it kind of overflows around me and it will overflow around you. 
when you cooperate um, instead of swimming ag against the stream of life, uh, you're not creating backwater back waves that splash into everybody else. So everybody else has an easier time. Um, that's one of the reasons why when, when life is good for you, life is good for everybody around you. And when life isn't going the way you want it to be, you're creating back, back waves that do impact other people. Uh, we're not alone. We're one whole system. And so it's my goal to minimize the backwash that I'm washing up against other people. Um, I don't want to make their lives any more difficult than they already are. Uh, so, you know, it's like, do what you will, but harm none. So I want my life to be good because then I'm creating fewer waves. And when I create fewer waves, everybody around me has an easier time. Now, that being said, there are definitely time, there are definitely times when we should make waves. There are definitely times. And that is when what is going on around us is, is already creating those waves. And then what we are doing is we are creating canceling out waves. Um, there's a whole series of books written on that. It's like, oh, okay, so there are these big waves coming at us. And the way that we fight back these waves is we create uh, cross waves that'll cancel them out. So waves aren't a bad thing. Waves are not a bad thing. Uh, because when the waves coming at us are not with life, then we are allowed to create waves to cancel them out. So I'm not telling you not to make waves. I'm telling you to make um, wave canceling waves, to cancel out the nonsense. Um, and then when things are going good, the waters are calm and everybody has a better time. But when the water's choppy, make waves. All right, today is a fresh beginning, a new start, a joyous adventure on the pathway of eternal progress. That's really cool. Today is a fresh beginning, a new start, a joyous adventure on the pathway of eternal progress. That is what Ernest thinks that spirit wants for us. Spirit wants us to have a joyous adventure. Does it have to be an adventure all the time? Can it not be occasionally a nice walk? But even a nice walk can be a joyous adventure. So what does a joyous adventure mean to you? And what does a pathway of eternal progress mean? Today is bright with hope and happy with fulfillment. Therefore, I affirm that this is the day that God has made. This is the day that God has made every day. Say that to yourself when you get out of bed. This is the day that God has made. And I'm going to go out and make the most of it. That it is good and that I find fulfillment in it. The law of mind responding to this word of good makes everything in my life simple, effective, and whole. So, that's an affirmation to write on your mirror. I used to advocate that. It's like, oh, that's a really good one. Write that on your mirror. So, first thing in the morning. I affirm that this is a day that God has made, or this is a day that good has made, or this is a day that spirit has made, or this is a day that whatever word you want to use, this is a day that love has made. This is a day that peace has made. Whatever word you want to use. <clears throat> the action of wisdom through me arranges every circumstance so that success and happiness will come from it. Wisdom is knowledge applied. Wisdom is experience. It's like we oftentimes have a whole lot of data and not a lot of experience. That's what wisdom is. Knowledge applied. So, the action of wisdom through me 
the knowledge that I have, I am applying from my experience, will arrange every circumstance so that success and happiness can come from it. Which means we've learned from our mistakes and let them go. <laughs> <clears throat> I express the spirit within so that only love and confidence go out to everyone I meet. I express the spirit within so that only love and confidence go out to everyone I meet. Don't you love those people who are just confident and confident in that loving way? Because there's more than one way to be confident. But when you meet those people who are so sure that 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 God is, they're so sure that God is real, and they are so sure that God is personal, and they're just they have what we would like to say good energy. They have good energy. Um, they are oases in the storm, blessing everything I touch. And bringing peace and comfort and joy to my world. The same world that I share with you. In every thought, in every deed, in every act, I am sustained by an infinite power and guided gently into an increasing good for myself and others. Because I know that the power to do comes from an inexhaustible source, an infinite source. <sighs> Good is forever in my experience. So what's our mission today? Mm. All right. Maybe a little bit of a detox for January. Our mission today, should we choose to accept it, is to surrender all past mistakes into the keeping of this ever-present and perfect life. To affirm that love is guiding. That's our mission, should we choose to accept it today. All right. <clears throat> so, as usual, I encourage you. Do something loving for yourself. Do something kind for yourself. Do something compassionate for yourself. Every day. Every day. Please remember that you are a beloved child of God in whom spirit is well pleased. Always. This is the state of grace that we live in. It's the beautiful state of grace that we live in. That we get to throw open the windows of our soul and feel that breath of heaven and let it remind us that we live in heaven now. Heaven is all around us. It takes our conscious acceptance of it. It takes our willingness to have that joyous adventure on that pathway of eternal progress. So, do something to engage your mind and your body today, please. Um, whatever that looks like to you. And do what you need to do to enjoy the day. Whatever it is that you're doing, know that the back of you is an infinite source of love, of peace, of creativity, of harmony. And that all it takes is your conscious willingness and acceptance to let it flow through you. All right, beloveds. I'm going to move on into the process of my day. I have a talk to write for next Sunday. Um, and I'm going to remind you that Reverend David will be on with you around 5 p.m. today. And since today is Saturday... That means that I will be back with you at 9 a.m. And we will have a fantastic service for you next at 11 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. So stay with us. All right, beloveds. Do what you need to do to make it a wonderful day. <laughs>